15x divided by 3x. So first of all, easier if you write in fraction first. So which is 15x over 3x. So 15 divided by 3, which is 5, and then x you can cancel out. So the answer is 5 over 1. So 5 over 1, which is the same as 5. Negative 14 ABC divided by 8 AC. So first of all, write in fraction first. So minus 14 ABC over 8 AC. So now a negative divided by positive, the answer is negative straight away. So 14 and 8 both divisible by 2. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And this A I can cancel out. This C I can cross it out. So therefore, the answer is negative 7B over 4. Negative 24XY divided by 3X. So the answer, first of all, is negative 24XY all over 3X. So now, this X, I can cross it out. So negative divided by positive, negative straight away. 24 divided by 3, so which is 8. And then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So which is negative 8 y over 1. So this is, is the same as negative 8y. Negative 15pqr divided by 18qr. So I just write in fraction first. So minus 15pqr or over 18qr. So q you cancel out. R, you cancel with this R, minus 15 and 8, so which is both divisible by 3. Of course, a negative and a positive give you negative straight away. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So negative 5P over 6. If you're not 100% with your uh, multiplication skill or division skill, if you like, of course, you can use calculator but you need to get the right process first. So first of all, I write in fraction first. Let's say minus 15 P Q R over 18 Q R. So what I do with, with algebra is easy. The, this R I can cancel out, the Q I can cancel out. So minus 18 P over eight, minus 15 P over 18. So I can just use calculator so what you can do, you can minus 15 over 18. So that's it. So you can cross that like this. So that give me, you cross this out. I just bring the calculator up again. See, you have minus 5 over 6. So you just write negative first, of course. The 5 on top, the 6 is down bottom here. So the answer is negative 5p over 6. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So first of all, I just write this 20B divided by B in fraction first. So this is 20B over B. So this cancel out. So the answer is 20 over 1, which is 20. So this is negative 20MN over negative 8 m n so negative 20 and then divide by negative 8 of course is become positive so i just m n i cancel this first so i just this m n 20 and 8 both divisible by 4 so which is 20 divided by 4 is 5 8 divided by 4 is 2 so the answer is 5 over 2 16 pq so I just write it down, 16 PQ over 20 Q. So let's say I use calculator for number. 
I can cross this out first. So what I do, let's say if I'm not very good with my division, I can just go 16 over 20. There you go. So 4 and 5. So you cross that out, the 4 on top, the 5 down here. So which is equal to 4, do not forget this P here. So 4P over 5. So this one here, so become negative 4XY z over negative 18 x z so first of all i can just both are negative so become positive straight away so 4 and 18 both divisible by 2 i can half 4 give me 2 half 18 give me 9 so the z here you cancel out the x you cancel out so which is 2y over 9 negative 12 x power 4 y power 3 divided by 30 x power 3 y power 5 so first of all i write in fractions first so minus 12 x 4 y power 3 over 30 x power 3 y power 5 so first of all we know that one positive and one negative so the answer is negative straight away 12 and 30 both divisible by 6 so it's 12 divided by 6 is 2 30 divided by 6 is 5 if you're not 100% with your division you can always just use calculator 12 over 30 see so that means you cross out the top which is 2 the bottom is 5 so 2 fifth so now the x I just I just write this down first so 2 over 5 now for x power 4, x power 3, so therefore the top larger than the bottom one. So which is 4 take away 3, which is 1. So that means x power 1. Of course, the x power 4 is larger, so the answer is on top. So x power 1, so which is x. So y power 3 and y power 5, of course, the bottom larger. So you go 5 minus 3, so which is 2. So therefore... The, the answer is right down at the bottom here, so which is y power of 2, which is y square. This one here, again, I just write in fraction first, so which is equal to 15, 8 power of 14, b power of 9, divided by 40, 8, 8, and then b power of 15. So first of all, I go 15 and 40, so both divisible by 5. So you go 40 divided by 5 is 8. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then 8 power 14 and 8 power 8. So the 14 larger. So you go 14 minus 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. At 4 is 6. So 8 power 6. I just write this first. 3 over 8. So a power of 6, the answer is right on top because a power 14 is larger than a power of 8. So the, your answer is on top, so which is a power of 6. And then b power of 9, b power of 15. So the bottom larger, so you just go 15 minus 9. So 10 minus 9 is 1 at 5, 6. So b power of 6, of course, the answer is right down the bottom here. So power of 6. So the answer is 3 a power of 6, 8, B, 6. Please stop the video. Try this one yourself. So step number 1, I write in fractions first. So which is minus 15, A power of 5, B power of 6, over 20, 8 power of 3, b power of 9. So first of all, a positive and a negative, the answer is negative straight away. 15 and 20, both divisible by 5. So I divide by 5, give me 3. Divide by 5, give me 4. So it's 3, 4. Now 8 power of 5, 8 power of 3. So 5 is larger, so you go 5 minus 3, which is 2. Because the top minus bottom of course so therefore the answer is 
on the top here, so which is a power of 2, which is a square. b power of 6, b power of 9, so which is 9 minus 6, so which is 3. So the answer down the bottom, so b power of 3. Last one. So first of all, write in fractions, so which is negative 28, p power of 4, q power of 13, all over 32, p power of 9, q power of 8. So with number, I just want to show you using calculator, just in case if you're not 100% um, with your division, so I'm just using this. Of course, if you can do without calculator, that'd be the best way to do, okay? So which is 28 over 32, there you go, 7, 8. So which means this one cross it out, give me 7, this is 8. So which is equal to negative, of course. See, I write 7 down, 8 here. Now for p power 4 and then q and p power of 9. So which is the 9 minus, the 9 is larger, so which is 9 minus 4, which is 5. So 9 minus 4 is 5, so the bottom is p power of 5. Now for 13 and 8, so 13 is larger, so it's just you 13 minus 8. 10 minus 8 is 2, add 3 is 5. So which is equal to q power of 5. Thank you so much for watching.